Hey everyone, this is Linda from Bruninf.com coming at you with another edition of Let's Get a Beer Florida, December 1st holiday edition. Now today I'm coming at you from Bruninf HQ, otherwise known as my house, where we're all decked out for the holidays, all festive, and it's just a great atmosphere in here. I will be recording some video and going live out at some breweries and out and about town through the month of December, just because everything's all festive and it's a lot of fun. We've got Nights of Lights in St. Augustine and other things going on. So I will be doing a little bit of that come later on. But for right now, we'll just do this from the house, having a great time with all the decorations. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and we've got lots of things to talk about. Florida news, Florida beer events, all that kind of thing. And where we left off, we were talking about two big fests in 2018 that just had tickets go on sale over a week or so ago. That being Huna Day in March in Tampa and Maple Bacon Coffee Porter Fest in January in South Florida. I've been to both of those fests. Articles about each one on Brunoof.com. Last year I was a Huna Day virgin, so take a look at the story. Had a great time there. And they moved it this year over to Raymond James Stadium. Apparently the Lightning are playing a game that day, so they moved the fest to accommodate traffic. And I guess there's some other things going on in Tampa as well. So logistically it made more sense to move it. So hope you got your tickets for that. If not, grab those because they will sell out as the days get closer. Also, a couple of fests coming up in 2018. Tickets going on sale soon. We have Hogtown in Gainesville, April 21st. Tickets will be going on sale December 6th. And Jupiter Craft Brewers Fest on January 27th. Tickets will be going on sale in December as well. Stay tuned for that. Been to both of those fests, articles on Brunov.com, take a look. And those are two that you really don't wanna miss. I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that I started a brewery map on Brunoff.com from Northeast Florida down to West Palm. I'll be adding three new ones on in the West Palm area in December or so, so stay tuned for those. Looking forward to making some visits to those as well. And uh, always good news, congratulations to those guys. We'll be talking more about those later. Also around St. Augustine, we have Knights of Pints going on. I wrote about this as well. There's a story, check it out on the site. This is the four St. Augustine breweries with the promotion. And go check these breweries out. If you do the Knights of Pints going concurrently with Knights of Lights, it's a lot of fun, a lot of festivities, great way to visit the breweries. And what you do basically is you buy the Knights of Pints shirt. This is the ladies v-neck. There's also a crew neck. You buy the shirt and then you get a punch card. Here's the back of the shirt. And you take the punch card around to the four breweries, Old Coast Ales, Bog Brewing, Dog Rose, and Ancient City. Take your punch card around and you'll get the free beer at each one. Now I already finished mine, but that doesn't mean that I don't go back. I've already been back and uh, it's just a lot of fun, good beer, fun thing to do, wander around. So I have a picture right now of the Old Coast Ales Winters Spiced Winters Rye on the Tap This calendar page. Hopefully they still have that beer so, and you can get that one. It was really good cinnamon and vanilla. So that's going on, lots of fun. What else is going on? We do have the FBG, Florida Brewers Guild, Barrel Age Sour and Cider Fest coming at ya on December 9th at Intuition Aleworks in Jax. Tickets are on sale for that. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, be sure to do that. There's a VIP option that was close to being sold out and also general admission. That's on December 9th. Also, I made a visit yesterday to Green Room Brewing in Jax Beach to pick up my bottle of Smiling on a Cloudy Day Double IPA. This will make you smile no matter what the weather. This is a great beer, I love it. I got two bottles of it. I'll probably end up getting another one before it's all said and done. I haven't even cracked it open yet, but I know it's that good. Look forward to that one every year. Speaking of Green Room, the Quetzalcoatl Day, 
where they released the Imperial Mayan Red Ale with chocolate, poblano, and serrano peppers and cassava root is December 23rd. They'll be releasing that in bottles. It'll be on tap. He usually does several variants of that and makes a big old day party out of it. So that'll be December 23rd. We'll be looking forward to more information about that. Also coming up in the Jacks area, Southern Swells is releasing three new IPAs, beers in cans on the 16th. They'll also be on tap as well. So if you're around Jacks Beach area, take a look at those three new beers. Every time Southern Swells does a release, it generates a lot of excitement around the area. That'll be on the 16th. Also on the 16th, Atlantic Beach Brewing, just north of Jacks, with its second bottle release, Sinterklaas Quad. Sounds like a great beer for the holidays. And um, their first beer, the Cafecito de Cuba, I thought was outstanding. So take a look at that on the 16th, also at Atlantic Beach Brewing, pick up new bottles again there. Lots of bottle releases, can releases, all kinds of things. Now Engine 15 in Jack Speech is doing something pretty fun. 12 beers of Christmas from December 1st through December 12th. If you go to the Jack's Beach location, drink one of the new beers every day that they have with a theme that runs parallel to the 12 days of Christmas. Drink each one of those, each one each day, and you'll be looking at a free beer for the rest of December. Ask the bartender how the free beer really works, but that's the gist of the 12 beers of Christmas at Engine 15. Lots of fun, great idea, I love it. I'll be going there to check that out as well. Now, Wicked Barley did a event with its new menu and they paired up beers to go with their new menu items. A lot of the beers were new ones, hadn't seen them yet. That was last night. Great event, I loved it. Thank you for hosting that and got to taste some of the new foods, some of the new beers. And uh, if you're around Jex, take a look at the menu. I think you'll like it. So that was a great event, had a really fun time there. It was a beautiful evening out there in the, with the beer garden and right there along the creek. Also, Wicked Barley will be doing a holiday party, ugly sweater party on December 22nd. And they'll be tapping lots of new holiday beers at that as well. And they also just announced, Wicked Barley did that, they are having a growler relay between Wicked Barley and Zeta in Jack's Beach on February 17th. There are other locations in Florida too, Miami in January, St. Pete in March, and Tallahassee with a date to be announced. What it is, is a relay, get a team together, run different legs, different stretches of the route between brewery to brewery, do some fun things in between, and there's an after party afterwards. It's something like 40, 50 miles and uh, you'll have to sign up. It's The distances are different based on your location. Sounds like a lot of fun. I know that they've done some of these relay races down in the Keys and that before. So now, brewery to brewery, why not? I have information on that on brunoff.com as well, by the way. Now, I opened up the video with the Irma IPA in my hand. And you've probably heard about this by now. It was started out in Tampa with the idea from Green Bench, and they got Copper Tail and Seventh Son to come on board, brewed the Irma beer, and all of the proceeds go to charity for Irma Hurricane Relief. It went to South Florida. There were a couple of breweries that brewed the beer there with the assistance of other collaboration breweries, and now it's made its way to Jack's. They released it at Intuition over Thanksgiving weekend. It's sold out already, and I was lucky enough to snag some cans of that. And they'll be releasing it on draft and more cans to the other three collaboration breweries who are Southern Swells, Engine 15, and Ardwolf. So look for those cans there. It'll also be on draft around the Jacks area. And that was brewed at Intuition, by the way. So all of those proceeds will be going to feeding Northeast Florida and uh, benefiting hurricane victims who need some assistance. Interestingly enough, the hops, Idaho 7, Rakao, Mosaic, and Amarillo spell out Irma, clever idea. And I have an article about this on brunoff.com where I ran through the tasting of it and I thought it was great, really easy to drink. Hop heads are gonna love it as will, even if you're not hop heads, you're gonna like it anyway. It was really easy to drink. I wish I'd had another cold one right away so that I could have had a 
second one, the first one went down pretty quick. So good beer, get some Irma and help out hurricane relief funds. All right. Let's go through some other highlighted events around Florida and specifically around the Jack's Jack Beach area during the week. I'm just going to run through a few. These are on Brunoff.com. I update these all the time. Probably by tonight, I'll even have more updates going on. One of the things that made some news recently and today is Founders Brewing CBS. Canadian breakfast stout being released today around the area. Some places already out of it. Another one just came on board with that. And there are also some tastings going on over the next week or so. Those are on Brunif.com as well. So hopefully if you're looking for that, you get your hands on some of the CBS. Now through December 15th, if you bring in a wrapped gift for a child, to Seven Bridges in Jax, you'll get a free pint, and all of those gifts benefit the Wolfson Children's Hospital. So do something good during the holiday season, make you feel good, get a free beer, and help out a kid who could really use a present. New beer release it's at Southern Swells, Bold Brewed Porter with Bold Green Yurga Chefa Harvusa Coffee. Don't know if I said that right, but I think it sounds good. So anyway, that is going on today, December 1st, new beer. Also, new beer at Hyperion Brewing, part of their Brew with the Brewer program, the Helios program, they're releasing a new beer tonight, December 1st. So we've got Saturday, December 2nd, some other events around Florida. Clearwater Beach on Court in Clearwater is having its food fest two-day food fest out there under the big tent in Clearwater on the beach. I went to the sister event, Cocoa Beach on Cork last June story about that on brunoff.com. What a great event. Food and cocktails and beer and more food and demonstrations. Lots of fun. If you're in the Clearwater Tampa area, go check that out. Um, great, great time out there. Winwood Brewing has its fourth anniversary Saturday, December 2nd with a block party. If you're down in Miami, wander over there. That sounds like a great time, right? Also, Angry Chair Brewing in Tampa with its third anniversary. Congratulations to you guys. I've been there, pretty cool place with all the chairs and uh, some great stouts coming out of that place, right? Palm Beach Winter Beer Fest in Palm Beach in the Expo Center. So no matter what the weather does down there, you're indoors. And they do the Summer Beer Fest there. I've been to both of those stories on brunif.com. Take a look at it. If you can't make it to this one, Take a look and mark your calendar for next July when they'll do it again in the summer. And what else do we have going on? Tappings, tasting, holiday parties, all kinds of things. We're running quickly through these. December 5th is National Repeal Day. End of Prohibition, right? Woohoo! Could you imagine that? I can't imagine that. No beer, no alcohol, whatever. Um, so. National Repeal Day, Tuesday, December 5th, and there will be a party at Prohibition Kitchen in St. Augustine. Uh, what better place to go, right? Sounds like a lot of fun there. Also on Tuesday, December, December 5th in Jex, Sour Beers, Beer School at Alewife. If you're around the area, take a look at that. Again, two pages of events. The tap this page is local, Jax, Jax Speaks, St. Augustine, and my Beer Sphere page is for beer trip, road trip, beer fest, anniversary, special events all over the state. So take a look at those and plan those calendars because 2018 is just about here. Going back through the weeks of events, we've got a pilot batch Wednesday at Atlantic Beach Brewing, pint night at Engine 15 with Copper Tail, and a cask night up in Fernandina at Amelia Tavern with a blonde ale and vanilla and honey up there. Again, just kind of running through these pretty quickly. Want to get some of that news and those main events out, mostly. Now we're talking down in Vero Beach on Thursday the 7th, American Icon Brewery with its grand opening weekend celebration. I've been down there in Vero and watched this progress over the past year or so along State Road 60 right over there. And this looks like an amazing place. So it is a old diesel plant, steam engine plant that they transformed into a brewery, kitchen, brew pub. The building is huge, it's massive, and it was impressive when it was still under construction. Can't imagine what it looks like now, but they will be having their grand opening 
Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. They opened in October, by the way, and now they're just be doing a big old party to commemorate that. So congratulations to those guys. Also, Thursday, December 7th in the Jacks area, you've got the Sam Adams Utopias hitting town, and there will be two events at two Hoptinger locations, Five Points and Jacks Beach. I know a lot of people are looking forward to this. It's a rare beer. It's an expensive beer, and you'll be doing Sam Adams flights with sample of Utopias if you go to that Hoptinger event. So take a look at that. Friday, December 8th, We've got all kinds of things going on, holiday tastings, things of that nature. One I want to point out is a holiday tasting at Browdy's in St. Augustine. They'll be having some cupcakes and featuring some Cavalier distributing brands in addition to other samplings that you can do. They'll be doing another one on the 16th as well at Browdy's. And tapping of the founders, CBS Imperial Stout, at M Shack in Town Center again. And more of those will be coming on as well. Um, if you didn't get your CBS today, or if, if you're not gonna make it tomorrow, uh, some more of those should be coming on. So stay tuned for those. I, heading into December 9th now, I mentioned the Florida Brewers Guild Barrel Age Sour and Cider Fest at Intuition. Big event, we've got some anniversaries going on as well on the 9th. That would be Three Keys Brewing in Bradenton and Three Daughters Brewing in St. Pete. So congratulations to you guys, and um, I'll be getting out there sooner or later. I've had the beers from both, so looking forward to that. Prohibition party at Veterans United in Jax. Sounds like a fun time. Come dressed up in your holiday attire. And for Prohibition, you know, the 1930s style. And Regatta of Lights in St. Augustine, not a beer event, but the boats get all decked out and they tool around the bayfront there. Uh, really cool to watch them all go by, all lighted up. And uh, you can also go do your Knights of Lights, Knights of Pints thing if you're in St. Augustine doing that. Beyond that, we've got more tappings and things going on. Again, take a look at the calendar. We've got a holiday tasting at Browdy's on the 16th, like I mentioned. Our friends down in Delray, Saltwater Brewery, with an anniversary party on the 16th. I went to the anniversary a couple of years ago. Love those guys and their beer. So sounds like a great time. And something else I wanna mention, um, St. Augustine, Dogs for Dogs, does a monthly charity night. I went the other night to the one where they featured Cigar City and got some cool new swag, glassware, and these neat coaster or these neat koozies. If you're looking for the reason why, they got a new logo and they also introduced their 2018 distribution calendar. I've got a story about that on Bruninf.com. So it December at Dogs and Dogs on the 20th. They'll be doing another charity night featuring Pinglehead out of Orange Park and Jack's. On 1221, Green Room Brewing does a new tapping, a milk stout. Stay tuned for that. Also on the 21st, Engine 15 will be having a barrel and wood aged extravaganza. So if you're into barrel wood aged beers, stay tuned for more info on that, but save the date, it's the 21st. The Ugly Sweater Holiday Party at Wicked Barley on the 22nd that I mentioned. Personally, I don't think holiday sweaters are ugly. Um, some of them are a little out there, but the ones I have might be a little over the top, but they're just fun and festive. So anyway, and on 1223, the Quetzalcoatl Day at Green Room that we already mentioned. So that's kind of it for this time around. Be sure to check out Brunif.com, I'd appreciate it. And see you out there and about around Florida with a beer in hand. And that's it for now. Have a happy December, happy holidays, and let's get a beer, Florida.